Some of you might have noticed in the recent time, you start getting communication from Scale Agile that they have launched their AI assistant. They call it Safe Copilot. I was getting some queries related to the Safe Copilot. I am using the Safe Copilot and demonstrating its capability in my safe classes nowadays, but I thought better I give you a little briefing so that who, who have done recent safe certification or may want to learn more about safe can try out the safe copilot. It's in a beta stage, but it's a nice tool. Let's explore it together. So you need to log in to your safe studio and you can see the last option, safe copilot, just click here. If you are clicking first time, they may ask you some terms and conditions. Once you accept it, they will show you this prompt interface for you. They do tell you how to use it better and they do remind don't use it for the exam. That's something they, they do it. And uh, this is something you can just start uh, uh, using it. I'm showing you the mobile uh, interface in a, a desktop interface. They have few more options where they tell you some of the possible prompt, prompt related to meetings, roles and values. Those kind of things are ready made for you. But here you have a, a decent prompt. So say I want to ask how to uh, uh, introduce safe to executives. Yeah, so let me ask this question and let's see what Copilot suggests. So introducing safe to uh, answer, un understand the why, understand, articulate the reason why adopting safe is important for the organization, benefit thing, secure leadership buy-in, educate on safe, start small, develop a change adoption plan, provide training and support, mentoring progress and adjust. Remember, safe executive requires clear communication, alignment. Uh, so overall, it is trying to convince me that I can present safe and make them ready to adopt safe. Yeah, it is, it is focusing on that area uh, because I use the word introduce. If I say how to explain to uh, uh, safe to the executive, then it may give me different answers, but it gives me a, a decent uh, answer to tell how possibly we can approach uh, introducing safe to the uh, uh, executive. Maybe I can ask some simple question like uh, 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 create an agenda for me for Agenda for backlog team backlog refinement. Yeah, let's be specific. So I asked that. Yeah, I want to create a team backlog uh, refinement thing. Then uh, set the purpose, review the current iteration goals, start by discussing the most important item work, uh, team to clarify first, discuss the future stories. Okay. Uh, uh, Item, the work for the item to clarify first, ensure that there are enough stories in the backlog for next iteration. Okay, discuss the future stories, estimate size and priorities, validate acceptance criteria, identify dependencies, summarize action items. So these are the things you can possibly do. Okay, can uh, uh, say define uh, role-based tasks in team backlog refinement session. Yeah. So maybe I want to understand what Scrum Master does, what etc, uh, uh, etc et does. So they give product owner should present, guide the team through the story, identify dependency, assist in facilitating the estimation, ensure team follows the safe principles, team member actively participate, collaborate, uh, have expert. So you get a decent ideas. Yeah. So this is something you can use uh, uh, in your day-to-day uh, -day uses. Uh, but you at the same time, you need to be a little bit careful as well. For example, I ask, uh, give me example of definition of done for team increment. So I want to see some team increment definition of done. So team increment satisfy user steady acceptance. Stories are completed by all teams in the agile release train. Now this is little weird, you know. So stories are completed by all teams in the Agile release team. Looks doesn't, uh, acceptance test pass, unit test good, no fucks defect, stories are accepted by product management, no, no. So the story should be accepted by product owner. So there could be such kind of errors which can come. So especially if you are trying to use it for your uh, multiple choice questions, safe is reminding you not to do, but it's also risky uh, at the same time. So uh, there could be some errors like this, uh, but uh, it is a decent brainstorming tool. What my suggestion is, once you know SAFE decently, you have been through some kind of trainings already, then you can possibly explore as a friend with this particular tool and it can help you in finding some nitty gritties related to a uh, scaled agile framework. So use it as an assistant, it's a beta version, but I believe it's a good add-on to your SAFE exploration.
If you are thinking of learning SAFE, I do conduct leading SAFE and SAFE POPM workshops very frequently. In fact, in the upcoming weeks, I have both these workshops coming in. So you may consider enrolling to some of our trainings so that you can get started with Scaled Agile framework.